Good morning, you guys. Okay, let's do a little bit of math together. Um, our math lesson is still practicing addition and subtraction, but we get to use a little bit something new today, which is called a number path. Um, but before we get started with that, I thought we could do some practice with our five group cards first. So in today's activity with our five group cards, I'm going to show you a five group card. And when I snap, I want you to tell me how many you see here. And then when I snap again, I want you to use your mind to take one away from this picture and tell me how many there would be if you took one away. So let's do this one as some practice. If I showed you this picture and I snap, you would tell me seven. And then I'll snap again. And I want you to tell me how many if I took one away. So you can imagine me doing this with, my, with your um, eyes or with your mind. And I would have six. Or I might know that seven, if I take one away, that equals six. Perfect. Okay, let's try a few more. Let's try this one. Ready? Snap. Eight. And snap again. And you would have seven. Very good. What about this one? Ready? Snap. Ten. Snap, take one away. Nine. Good job, you guys. Um, last one. Snap. Four. Take one away, we get three. Good job. Great work. Okay, the rest of the time, um, I will have a little number path on my board. If you would like to draw one on yours, you can, or you can just follow along with me and use your whiteboard to make some number sentences. We're just going to look at how um, the number path works, because sometimes this is a helpful way for us to solve addition and subtraction problems. So this is what a number path looks like. I made one on the floor of our classroom a long time ago when we were first starting to work on some of these things. And I was having certain kids hop on the number path or walk along the number path um, to add and to sometimes subtract too. So the first um, problem that I want to do, I want it to start with the number five and I want it to be an addition sentence. So I'm going to go ahead and move my little succulent magnet to the number five. And then I'm going to say that I want to add three to five and we'll see where we end up. So it's the number line's actually going to solve our problem for us. Ready? Five. I go one, two, three. Where do I end up? I ended up on eight. So this makes it really easy for us to solve some problems sometimes if we think about it like on this number path. Can you try writing a number sentence for what I just did now? So this was an addition sentence because I added on and also I was going forward towards the higher end of my number path. So that means I'm adding on. Let's go ahead and try that. So start with the number five on your board and try writing a number sentence about what I did. Five. And then I have to think how many spaces did I go? I'm going to add three because I went three spaces equals when I took my succulent, one, two, three spaces, I ended up on the number eight. Way to go. Just like this. Give me a check if you wrote your sentence like this. Very, very good. Okay, now let's try another one, a different way of doing it. So this time I want to do a subtraction sentence. So I'll go ahead and leave my succulent on eight. And this time I want to um, show a subtraction sentence um, and subtract two. And I want you to think for a second. Before when I was showing my sentence, I went this way. I went forward. But when I show subtraction, which way do you think I have to go? Now I have to go this way, backwards towards the number one. Very good. So if I start on eight and I take away two, one, two. And where do I end up? That's my answer. Six. Very good. Can you write a number sentence about that? So this time we'll need our subtraction sign. So we'll start on eight. And then I took away two. 
equals six. Give me a check if your number sentence looks like that. Amazing. Okay, let's try a couple more where you can try writing the number sentences on your own a little bit, just for practice with the number paths, since we um, don't always use our number paths. Okay, this time I want my little succulent to start on number seven. And I would like to add three. So let's see. One, two, three. Can you write me a number sentence about that? Seven. And I wanted to add three. One, two, three. Go ahead and try that on your board. Ready to check. Seven plus three equals ten. Very good, you guys. Okay, um, let's try one more, just for good measure. We can keep, I'll keep my succulent on number ten. And I want to take away eight. Now, my number path actually doesn't go much past ten, so there's not really much places for us to go. But if I'm taking away, I have to remember to go back this way. So let's see, I'm starting on 10, I'm gonna go backwards. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go ahead and write me a number sentence about that. Ready? 10 minus eight equals two. And if you noticed, eight and two are partners to 10, which is pretty cool. And that's why they also add to 10, because if you take one of them away, you'll get the other one, just like we just found out on our number path. Great work, you guys. So if you like using a number path to help solve your problems, it's a really great strategy to use if you ever need to use one. Um, that's different than using your fingers or um, maybe you like to count in your head, which is okay too, but today you can practice with this strategy. And if you want, you can draw yourself a little number path. I just drew the numbers one through 10 and then I put little boxes in them and it's pretty easy. Or there's one in your slides you can use. So you can try this today during your math time and um, it's a fun way to solve your math problems. So I hope you guys have fun and thank you for being such great mathematicians and I will see you today. <laughs>